some few more really interesting ones. So Rimsha, you said uh, this morning that your marketing team ruined your spiritual path, <laughs> which I thought was interesting. So the next question for anyone, and maybe we'll start with Rimsha to elaborate more on that. How do you reconcile the marketing aspect of Buddhism with its spirituality? I think <clears throat> specifically Rebel Buddha, I've, I've noticed has been a, there's been a very uh, well-coordinated uh, for a Buddhist community, um, uh, excellently well-coordinated, um, <laughs> congratulations, we're getting there, um, campaign to get the word out about this book and this tour and, and the fact that this was a new moment. Moment of Zen. <laughs> so how do you reconcile the marketing aspect of, of Dharma with the spiritual aspect? How do you do this without destroying all your work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was partly kidding. Uh, but <laughs> uh, we were talking last night in New York with some of my friends here mm, that uh, I think how I see myself working with this uh, question is uh, working with my motivation, you know, my intention. Uh, what is this for? You know, right from the beginning of actually working on this book, my motivation or intention was to contribute something towards the Western Buddhism or American Buddhism. And so that was my uh, primary intention of working on this uh, with encouragement from some friends. And so I tried to come back to that you know, ground that the motivation here is for you know, bringing this wisdom tradition to another culture, another tradition. And uh, uh, it's not about me or it's not about uh, ego of any one of us, but it's about uh, this, you know, wisdom and it's about how we can share this in order to benefit, you know, uh, others. And so I think that's uh, how I try to approach it. I think marketing, uh, you know, when we say marketing, um, some of us can just fall into this kind of simplistic view that we're, we're talking about uh, capital, we're talking about rich and poor, we're talking about abuse. So we get kind of carried away with that. And what I'm hearing uh, Rinpoche say, and, and, you know, we advertise in, in Buddhist magazines, and that's marketing. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, we have a website and all of that. That is a way, just, I completely agree with you, of, sharing the Dharma in the way that we can at this time in the world. And sometimes we have to pay for that. What we have to ensure is that we're clean <laughs> and that our functioning uh, is dharmic. Our functioning, our interactions with the people we work with, uh, our negotiations with the people we work with, that that all comes from that place of Dharma rather than uh, other forms of, of behavior in the marketing world. Uh, so sometimes we push against uh, uh, the, the wave, and we say, no, no, wait, we have to, let's start all over again. There's two people in this room. Let's talk about this mm -hmm. in, in a real connection, as opposed to kind of falling into that marketing uh, way of being. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that, that uh, for whatever... Uh, judgment we might have about marketing for those of us who watch Mad Men. <laughs> uh, the, I think the, part of the dynamic of transformation means you have to meet, uh, you have to meet that which perhaps is, uh, that you have resistance to. Uh, what is marketing? You know, I, that's probably a lot of concepts that, that, uh, describe a rough experience or, or a rough state of affairs and, and um, by employing the kind of mindfulness and, and intention that, that were just spoken of, then we, we contribute to a, a broader potential for transformation. It's actually interesting because uh, if you don't do some kind of uh, like information sharing, then a lot of times the people come to me and say, how come you didn't let us know? Mm. You know, so there's this uh, kind of uh, uh, two aspects. On one hand, like, of course, 
we feel a little bit weird to like Ruchi said and everyone here. We weird to really put too much uh, effort in that uh, uh, commercial sense of marketing. But on the other hand, it's the only way sometimes to let uh, friends know mm -hmm. that there is something happening. 